Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy, and welcome to the Beginner Beekeeping Series. In this episode, we're going to do our day four check on the hive to see if the queen has been released. Now let's get started. So it's been four days since we installed that package of bees on the uh, blank frames, the plastic foundation. And if you remember, I put the package upside down in here and then I put the two feed cans in. Well, it's been 10 years since I've installed bees on plastic foundation. And guess what? They did not like that at all. I came back about eight hours later at the end of the day just to see how they were doing. And they were all still inside the package and they hadn't gone down at all and they were just around the queen. So I decided that I had to shake them in and I'm sorry I didn't have my camera with me, but it's actually good that I did this because if you're a beginner and you do that upside down method that I did on foundation like this, they're not gonna go down on those frames. They did not like it, even though there was a little bit of wax from the factory. It's not the same as drawn comb. When I do that process with drawn comb, within 10 or 15 minutes, all the bees are out of that package down on the comb, cleaning it, working it, inspecting it, seeing if it's okay. But since that was plastic and it was foreign to them, they did not like it. So all I did was take the package up and shake all the bees out of it, remove it. I moved the cans inward here and I put that cover back on. That's all you missed. I haven't touched it since then. It's been four days. We're gonna check to see if they've released the queen and hopefully they have. And that's what we're gonna do. So we want to pry this queen box up here. And it's kind of late in the evening. It's about six o'clock. The sun's now just going down. But hopefully they won't get too riled up. And the queen has been released. You can see that they have eaten all of the queen candy. There's some bees on here but they're just bees that are getting inside there. The candy hole is gone. This whole thing, remember this whole quadrant here, or this third of this cage was full of queen candy. And so they ate it out, she's released, and they're all just in there checking it out. So that's what you wanna see after four days. And you can also see that the bees are down there. I'm going to check these cans to see if they still have food. They still do. I am going to hit them with a little smoke. Just a tiny little bit. You don't want to get the bees all wound up right now. But see, they're there, and I'm gonna put the syrup right over the center where they're working. That's all I'm doing. And they are right in the brand spank new of the cluster. And I'm not gonna open them up right now to see if, I know that they're building wax, but we'll do it in a few days. There's no reason to get in a hurry. They probably just released the queen today or yesterday. So you don't want to get them all riled up. There's no reason to do that. They're happy. Now, the other reason I don't want to do that is tomorrow is going to be a terrible day. It's going to be 42 degrees, possible snow, low tomorrow night of 36 and rain. Today was almost 70. So this is the kind of weather we get in Northwest Indiana, and it just goes up and down, up and down. So I don't want to stir them up. I'm just going to cover them. And the dandelions have just started blooming a couple days ago, so they do have some pollen, but I'm gonna check them. And if I don't see a lot of brood, I'm gonna give them a little piece of pollen pay. Not a full patty, because they don't really need a full one yet. But uh, we'll check them in a few days, and we'll see uh, how they're doing. The other thing that we're gonna wanna do before they cap some brood is I'm gonna show you how to treat um, your uh, bees for mites. And this is one of the, the big mistakes that people make they get a package of bees and they assume that everything is okay 
Um, you don't necessarily have to treat when you get them, but you should at least test for mites to see what the levels are. Um, but I usually just go ahead and treat because I don't want to mess with it. Um, so, but that'll be up to you. But I'll, I'll teach you all that about what to look for, the levels, and when to treat. But pretty much in the United States and North, North America, period, um, you pretty much have to treat your bees for mites because the mites will eventually, whether it's the first year, second year, or third year, they will overtake the bees and they will die. But we'll talk about that in a future video. I just wanted to do this update for the first week and show you um, what they did and how they went down in after I shook them and they're building wax. And in a few more days, we'll take out the frames when it's warmer and you can see all the wax that they've built and I'm sure there'll be eggs and larvae and we'll talk about all of that and I'll show you up close what that looks like and what, what you can look for in your hive. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.